Hi guys! So in today's video, continuing the series that I've been doing, we're basically going to turn these Monopoly pieces into this. So stay tuned, okay guys? Because I got like a bunch of board game shirts from Torrid not too long ago, I figured I'd make a really fun series on making jewelry from board game pieces. And you can get these from like your game if you got like, like a Monopoly game or something like that. I actually have like a specialty Monopoly game. I don't really want to pick that one apart. <laughs> so I ended up getting these guys from eBay, a lot of these pieces and stuff. My favorite is like the dog one, but I also really love the thimble. Yeah, the symbol's really cool. Anyways, if you guys want to see how I made this, basically I didn't weld them, which is what you probably should be doing if you want it to be super solid on there. But I use like a specific glue. I hope that they're gonna hold up fairly well. So far, so good. It's not like I've been wearing them around a lot though. So maybe a little wear and tear, they could break easily. So it's really kind of tough to say. If you guys are really enjoying this stuff, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video. And especially if somebody really likes board games or Monopoly and that sort of thing. Basically, I'm just gonna introduce the video. So on to the DIY. So I'm super stoked. I got a bunch of Monopoly pieces on eBay. If you want to, you can take these guys directly from your game. If you've got one that you don't really care too much about the pieces or something, maybe you'll only like take a few or something like that. Or maybe, I don't know, I feel like it's like the best thing to do if you're going to do something like this is just get some extra parts or something like that on, on something like eBay, Amazon, whatever. I don't think I found these on Amazon. There was a great seller on eBay that sold these for pretty inexpensive. So that was really good. And so I divided these up. These guys are the things that need a bale attached with, say, glue. And then there's this stuff where you can basically just get like a jump ring and add that to see the little holes and stuff that they have. Like there's a little, I don't know if you can see this, guys. Can you see that? Is that too close? See how that has a little hole right there? I can probably put something through that little loop to easily make a necklace or a pendant of some kind if I was going to make some sort of jewelry. Same with this sort of thing. This is going to be easy enough. Basically just open up a ring and then close it up and then you can just sort of hang that on your necklace. But stuff like this, this is really cute, especially for if you're sewing or something. I can sew, I guess. My mom was more of a sewer. She was the sewer of the family. So this would be kind of like a nice sort of thing to wear as like a reminder of my mom or the fact that I like to craft and stuff like that and sew sometimes. So this sort of thing is, is hard to put a bale on top of. So I would probably end up putting like maybe either a cap thing on. I think this is too big though. But anyways, there's there's lots of cool stuff you can do. Like, I guess the iron is kind of like a cool thing too if you So I like the idea of something like maybe the hat to be put on something like a cuff link or whatever. I think that would look really cute. I think they would look really cute as a necklace too, like hanging down. But I really like the idea of kind of like a dapper top hat as a cuff link. This might be a little difficult to make into a necklace, but I'm gonna see if I can get some ideas on what to do here. I think I I saw some where people were putting jump rings around the head of the horse basically to look almost like a bridle or something. Yeah, so there's a few different pieces that you can already sort of weave something through and make that into a necklace easily. I love the dog. What's your favorite piece, guys? What do you normally like to play if you're playing Monopoly? I think the dog is kind of one of my favorites. I also like the thimble. I mean, I love the horse too. The horse is pretty cool. I'm very much an animal person. <laughs> this wheelbarrow would be so cute if it just sort of, I don't know if anybody has like one that wheels move. I thought that they used to do that for some reason. I don't know why I thought that but anyways it'd be so cute if the wheels actually moved on these things but they don't. Not on these ones anyways. Let me know what you guys like to pick as your favorite piece down in the comments below. But yeah so that's that. Okay so there's so many different ways of doing this sort of thing so good to have some jewelry tools on hand. I have like a whole kit of it's like five different tools that I purchased at Michael's forever ago. I'm sure you can get these on Amazon and all that sort of stuff too or any other craft store. I think these kind of rings are too big but there's like lots of split rings or jump rings and stuff like that you can get. I kind of wanted to do small jump rings 
for this. You can even get, these are called lobster clasps that say you wanted to, to put these on with a little charm bracelet or something like that. I wanted to show you guys and you can weld this stuff on here. I do all sorts of other things, but I just kind of want to show you how to work with stuff that already has holes in it for now. So I'm going to take my tools. I'm going to find, there's like a little opening on here. I don't know if you guys can see this very well. Move these guys aside. Just open it up a little bit, maybe a little wider. There you go. And it depends on which way you want to put it. I guess it doesn't really matter with this guy. I just want a little iron thing to hang on a necklace. I think this would be so cute. And there you go. And that's on there now. So that can go on a necklace really easily. I'm gonna do a couple guys here. The shoe. I have two that have holes in it and then one that's sealed. And this guy is sort of sealed. So I'm gonna go for the obviously the ones with the holes in it. I can wear a little shoe on a necklace or put it on a keychain or something like that. And then so I'm going to do another one. They're really quick and fun to make. The other ones I'll show you how I'm going to do those guys. But I just want to make a few different types here. So this guy has a bit of a hole here. So I'm just going to sort of slip that on there. And then you can sort of wear that like a little boat if you like boats. Alright, cool. So now we've got like a, a little boat there. This is just one last thing that you can probably easily make into a necklace. Put this in the top one here. Do you see that? That's where I'm gonna put it. I don't even know what this is to be honest with you. Is this like a wheel of a ship or something? Or let me know if you guys know what this piece is. I have no idea. It looks kind of like a spinning wheel a little bit to me, but I have a feeling it's not. Probably something more like a war kind of machine. I don't even know. Basically that that's on there now. Okay, so I'm gonna put those guys aside. That's pretty much done. I'm gonna focus on those two. I'm gonna get some of these little beads. They're a little lighter than what we want, but whatever. Okay, put a little dollop on here. And get this guy and stick it there. A little extra glue and a hole here. I don't feel like you put enough on, maybe do another dog. that guy aside, you can sort of see, it's basically like that. I'm gonna do another one of these, maybe for the dog here. Once you hopefully have it on, try to sort of let it dry and do its thing. So I'm just gonna let those guys dry, okay? Another concept that I had for this guy, I really love this hat, I think it's really cute. I thought cufflinks would be cute. Here, I'm gonna show you some cufflinks I have. I bought these for my wedding a long time ago and they sort of turned out blurrier, so I got recent some and they looked a lot better I think so these guys are extras I'm probably going to like cover this with something and then glue this on so it's a pretty good size so I'm just gonna do that I think it fit pretty well and the silver kind of matches the actual hat itself which is really nice too so if I glued that on I think that would look really nice and another thing you could get sort of like buttons like button backs like this and this one's probably too big it's it could sit on it I guess but I was thinking something like these guys. This is more of a fabric one. This one's like a pearl. These ones are just off of buttons from my clothes I already own that they just sort of give you extra buttons and stuff like that. But like, as long as they have like this sort of bag
backing with a bit of a loop. I think those are really cute buttons to have. And then you can sort of just sew that on like a shirt. So if you just sort of glued this down, maybe filled this with some sort of substance, if you fill that in, maybe put a little indentation in there for something to gl get glued in later. And then just obviously glue this in, you know, and make it, make sure that this is turned in such a way that it'd be easier to sew. I think that that would be like a really cute button if you like did a bunch of them, you know, because I'm, I'm sure if you were able to like get your hands on some, which I got my hands on at least three different types from eBay, you know, I've got, I have at least three different buttons, but I think that would be really cute if you could put something like this on like a shirt, get quite a few more, maybe get like six buttons or something like that, five, six buttons, depending on like how many buttons you, you have on your shirt, I guess, but I think this would be really adorable to put on a shirt. I mean, you could do so much with that. I don't know if any of these other ones would be really great buttons. I don't know, maybe this guy could be kind of a cute button, but I feel like it juts out too much. I feel like the nice thing with the hat is it's a little flatter. Anyways, th that was just another idea. If you didn't want to make like cufflinks and you didn't feel like making this into a pendant, that is just like a different thing you could potentially do. Turn something like this into like fun little cute buttons for a shirt. If you wanted to like make some sort of fashion statement, maybe you like to make shirts and you just want to replace the buttons with something cute. This would be a really, really cute gift for somebody. Again, you, you don't have to gift it to somebody, you can only wear it yourself too. So you like board games. I think that this would be really like an adorable addition to your outfit. So here's how these pieces turned out. This this one's on pretty solidly and I used the, I'm, I'm trying to use it as much as I can, but I used the uh, F6000 glue for adhering this. I found it was a little more gel-like in consistency. I tried the E6000, but it was a little too liquidy and was kind of going everywhere. So a lot of this bead was sort of sliding quite a bit. So I cleaned that off, cleaned off the glue, and then I put the F6000 on here and I let it dry overnight. It seems to be quite on there. I'm not trying to like put too much force on it. I don't know. I think I think it looks pretty solid in comparison to how it was because it just sort of came right off really easily. So it looks like it's sort of part of it. So if you don't want to weld something directly on, the F6000 glue, if you sort of try it a few times, sort of works fairly well. And you might have a little bit of glue residue on here, but to me, that just sort of adds to the texture. I mean, this dog is quite textured. You sort of see there's a bit of glue texture on here. This guy, it's nice because it doesn't really matter. It looks the same all the way around, pretty much. I think this is really cute, especially if you like to sew. The thimble is kind of like a fun one. So I let it sort of dry on its side, so it sort of did, I don't know if you guys can see that, tilted a little bit. It's not too bad, though. I feel like the glue is going to slide a little bit. It's really, really hard to sort of keep holding on to it and like letting it dry for a bit but if you want something like an instant bond you might want to look up how to weld stuff and that might actually kind of work for you I'm not going to teach you guys how to weld but this is just like a quick easier way in case you don't feel like using fire or something like that in order to make cute jewelry gifts for somebody so yeah I think that's those are all the pieces I'm going to do I think with so these guys might require like a different type of bail I can see like almost like a flatter bale being glued down here and then attach like a jump ring or something like that on there and the same thing with this you might have to bend the bale a bit and then sort of maybe attach it down there so you can sort of hang it like that unless you want to like hang it right here or something I think I saw somebody putting some bales here and here so that it's sort of hung like that there's so many different ways of hanging these kinds of things I love the hat I think it's so cute this one I think is going to be a little harder to do. You might be able to do this sort of method with this guy if you wanted to. So that's something that you could sort of potentially try. I don't know, I think it would kind of ruin the design a little bit. This guy though, you could hang it with like, again, like sort of like a bale hanging down here and have it hanging this way. I'm just going to move these guys aside. At least we made today about six of these guys, which is really cool. And that's the easiest methods, I think, of attaching. You made four easily by just attaching things to the actual, actual already existing hole. Okay, so this is just 
You don't have to do this, guys. This is just something I decided to do just for presentation purposes. If you have cards from Monopoly game, like I have a specialty Monopoly game that's like, it's like a Back to the Future one, so it's not gonna work for this very well because it's completely different. But if you just have Monopoly cards, you can just sort of cut them a little bit and just sort of weave these necklaces through if you'd like. I really like the community chest card, like this particular one, the beauty contest, collect uh, $10. I think that one's a really, really funny card. I decided to just make, I mean, it's not the best printing job, this printer uh, prints really light and also prints a lot of lines and stuff like that sometimes. Anyways, I just found this online and just put a bunch of them together and then I'm just gonna cut them up and they're actually way smaller than the card itself. But anyways, and I just sort of printed it just like the same yellow color on the other side just to make it look even. You can do whatever you want. You can glue it on another yellow piece. You can even just do this on actual card stock that is yellow to match the cards if you wanted to print them out as well yourself. Anyways, I just decided to do this and then I, I figured I'd just sort of cut them up pretty straightforward sort of project. I mean, you can use the scissors, but I find exacto knives are a little bit nicer when it comes to cutting things more precisely. Cut off the edges. This is just like an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, and I just sort of went in on Photoshop and put this image side by side over and over and over again. If you want to, you can put like little registration lines so you can see where to cut. I'm just eyeballing it, which is probably not the best thing to do, but I end up eyeballing a lot of stuff sometimes when I'm designing things. And again, I'm doing like a bunch of them, so I'm probably just going to pick the best one for hanging these necklaces on if I want to give them to somebody. Let's try to make things lined up with some of the squares on the cutting mat here. Just line it up with the squares there. Okay! Anyways, there's a card there. Anyways, you've got these little teeny tiny cards. I don't really like that one, but this one looked pretty good. But yeah, you can just sort of snip if you want to with some scissors. Cut downward like that. It doesn't have to be completely accurate. But yeah, if you just cut down like that. So I'll pop one of these guys on. I really like this one. I think this one's really cute. It's nice for sewing. And then I have this. This doesn't really match this necklace pendant, unfortunately, but it should do the trick anyway. I'm sure if you if you want to, you can get like other chains of other colors and sort of match it up a little bit better if you want to. And if you want to, you can also, depending on how you want the necklace to sit, you can add a jump ring to this. But this one seems quite nice. It's quite delicate, this necklace, which is great. So it just slips right through that veil. And so basically, like a little thimble. It's so cute. You can hang it as close to the card or as far away from the card as you want. I want to hang it kind of close and I'm just going to put the rest back in here in this little bag. This is just for presentation purposes here. And if I want to, I can just sort of tape that down and behind the card. And then you can just sort of have this little cute necklace thing and just sort of pop it in like a little box. And I think it'd be really, really cute if you, if it's like a long box or something, if you decorated the box with like, like a piece of money from the game, like the Monopoly game, I think that that would be another step up to packaging your pieces of jewelry. Anyways, you kind of get the picture. This is a really cute gift idea in case you guys want to try that out for yourself and maybe upcycle something that doesn't have all the pieces but you still like the pieces and you want to do something with it.
guys liked that video. There's quite a few that I could have made with a flat back veil, but I didn't actually have any at the time. They kind of came late, so I got like a bunch of them here. I'll just show you guys real quickly. They just sort of come like... There's all different colors too. They're all different sort of shapes. So I got like a, a bunch of different flat backs and stuff. So I feel like something like this might be nice for, uh, this might, might be too big. There's some smaller ones in here. See that? So this is the wheelbarrow one. So you probably easily glue that on like the back side if you wanted to. There's lots of things you can do basically, but yeah. I think the wheelbarrow would be really cute. What I wanted to do basically, I was thinking of putting, like taking some little faux flowers, like little lavender pieces or something like that and sort of sticking it in here to make it look like a bushel of flowers in this little wheelbarrow and then just putting that on a necklace. I thought that would be super cute, just gluing them on, probably with the same glue that I, I'd be using because it's see-through, like it's clear. You don't have to even get metal bales. Apparently there's also like plastic bales you can get that are flat back, so you can make like any little charm. So there's that as well. I really enjoyed doing this. It was a lot of different types of pieces, but you can definitely do the same sort of thing with something like the game Clue, because there's a lot of metal pieces with that as well. I love Clue. I think it's a really, really fun game. So if you ever wanted to, to do that that's always like an option it's like a really good idea I think I think one of the pieces is plastic as far as I know like the rope and it has like a loop already in it so you can easily like put like a jump ring in that no problem everything else I think is kind of metal for that game so so if you if you want to make like jewelry or if you want to make buttons or if you want to make magnets or whatever you kind of like have lots of different ways of doing it and hopefully I, I gave you enough ideas during this entire series so I did like wood I did obviously metal and I did plastic with the Trivial Pursuit pieces. So I know that one was a really long video, unfortunately. It's just, it was a very detailed one. So I just wanted to make sure I got everything for you guys. Check out the timestamps down below if you ever want to like just skip over stuff in the video in case you're making something yourself and following along. One thing that I actually forgot to talk about, it's just a very brief, brief thing, is I bought a laminator. So... I might be laminating future projects at some point. Yeah, I laminated this card. You, you can buy stuff that's more of a matte finish too. It doesn't have to be this shiny or anything, but I think it just, it gives it a little bit more of a professional look and it's a little bit more durable, a little bit more waterproof in case you say you want to put your business card or something on the back here. Really depends on what you're doing this for. I just think it's like an extra fun thing to add to your gift or your business or something like that. So just wanted to sort of show that to you guys. Also, let me know, what, what do you guys think? What is your favorite Monopoly piece or just board game piece in general? What's your favorite board game in general? Let me know down below in the comments. Anyways, I really hope you guys like these videos. Yeah, they're really a lot of fun to make as usual. And I really hope you guys have an awesome day. All right, take care guys. Bye.